guys, this is Travis with Diesel Laptops. Today we're going to compare the X-Tool PS90 to the Texa unit. Um, as you can see, this tool is laid out. It breaks it down by engine, diesel, which will let you choose your different manufacturers, and then electronic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go in here, run a Peterbilt with a Cummins engine, and we're going to choose Peterbilt. We're going to give this a second here. Okay. At this point, you see the only options it offers there is Detroit and CAT. Well, we're actually on a Cummins engine, so what we're going to do is we're going to back out of here and we're going to go over to engine. We're going to choose Cummins. And this will download the form firmware here. Let's take just a second. All right. As you can see, it gives you three options here. You've got Auto Detect, 1939, or 1708. We're actually on a 1708, but we're going to choose this Auto Detect here. Give this just a second to communicate. Failed to connect. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go in here and do this manually now. All right. We got system information, read your fault codes, and your data stream here. We're going to go into system information. It does tell you this is a Cummins. Not much other information there besides that. All right. Next will be the read fault codes. As you can see, we've got two codes in there. They're going to tell you inactive. Inactive It's going to give you your FMI, your occurrence count, and, of course, your PID over here. Short description. Now, it does have a search function here, but the problem with this is it just see, sends you to Google. So there's no actual built-in repair information here. And same thing there as well. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here to the read data stream. And this is going to take it a minute. Okay, as you can see, this is broken down into different groups here, and you can actually go through and you can click them. All right, just going to get a couple of parameters in each one, and you do have the options to come in here and graph them out, and you can do it in wave format as well, so that's kind of neat here. But I'm going to back on out of here. We're going to go over to electrical. Just going to kind of bounce through a couple of these, let you see how it's broken down. Um, I do like the fact that it's kind of organized there, but at the same time, it can be aggravating having to go through each different category to look for one specific item. All right, all your switches here. Looks like we've actually got pretty good coverage of the parameters. It's just a matter of navigating through here. All right, and let's click others. See what we get in here. Okay, looks like you've got max road speed limits and all of that. Well, one thing I don't know if you noticed with this tool is there is no bi-directional functionality there. We can't get in there and change any parameters or run any tests. Alright, well next we're going to hook the Texa unit up and compare with it. Okay guys, we've got this Texa unit hooked up to the same Peterbilt truck with the Cummins engine. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is just click truck and then we're actually going to choose heavy duty and just kind of follow these prompts here. Peterbilt with the Cummins, and we're going to go in here and do the system scan. Now, what this is going to do is ping for every module on this truck. Now, obviously, due to the age of the truck, I'm not expecting to find too many here. And we do have a manual transmission, so we'll give this just a second, and it should prompt us to turn the key on. All right. Okay, it's going to analyze and then it's going to actually start the scan. Alright, as you can see here it showed the ABS and the engine. I'm just going to go into the engine here since that's all we were able to do with the other tool. I'm just going to see the functionality here. Alright, the ignition's on. What it's going to do at this point is actually connect to that module individually. Okay, as you can see that's pretty quick to connect here. I'm just going to start over here in this parameters tab. We're showing 13 different parameters. Now obviously with this tool it's going to break it down a little differently. You're going to have the percentage of your RPMs and all of that and then we can go into status over here which is going to actually give you your switches. But let's go back over here to the faults. 
as you can see both of these codes are inactive right now but we can double click them this is actually going to give us our fault code our uh, PID FMI there and a short little description but the neat thing about this tool is we can actually go back in here plug this into DTC solutions now I've already pulled this one up but this is going to give you your service information here and this is something specific just to diesel laptops but all the kits come with this program here just kind of scroll down and let you read it and of course it's going to give you a bunch of different things here to check but back to program here I'm just going to click confirm at this point under the status like I'm saying that's going to be your switches the ECU information it's just going to give you a little bit of you know engine information the manufacturing dates things like that the activations okay see this is where we did not have this functionality with that X tool we're able to get in here and do the cylinder cutoffs the cylinder balance performance you've got uh, EGR valves fuel lift pumps as you can see a good bit more stuff you can do in here and then settings these are things we can get in here and change all right I'm just gonna scroll through here you've got all your idle shutdown timers your max speed your PTO options make my way on down here but uh, upper droops your governor speeds more vehicle speeds as you can see a lot more settings here with this tool and a lot better covers than what that X tool is giving you all right, thanks for watching.